G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $2 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, I've got my $2 book here, partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far, and as we go through it, I'll mainly be looking through the reverses of the coins, just looking for the commemorative coins. Uh, as you know, the standard type is the Aboriginal Elder, which is this coin, the Aboriginal Elder. So I'll be going through all of the Aboriginal Elders at the end, looking for coins that come from years where there was no $2 issued for circulation, being 1991, as well as years with low minted $2 coins. And there we have our first coloured coin of the day, a red Captain Feather Sword from the Wiggles collection. Got a couple of these, but not a great amount. Got a couple of sets, of course, because they're relatively cheap. But it's colour for the hunt, which is good because I always want to see a bit of colour. Be nice to see a bit of red in the poppy shape. That would be good from the 2012 red poppy. Uh, but otherwise, it's good to have the colour. Mm, here's a 2021 is that something yes there is henry the octopus and i don't think i've got henry in the book so that'll be a new one for the book 2021 wiggles henry the octopus one of the wiggles characters one of their uh, junior characters and there's another bit of color uh 2020 australian of the paralympic team lizzie the lizard and the uh, motto set to soar so that's uh, quite a good first roll. Uh, it's been quite good lately with the Olympics this year and the Wiggle set coming out. There's been at least, you know, in the last sort of six months, there's been at least eight different coloured coins come out, two, approximately two million of them into circulation throughout the whole of Australia. So it's not everywhere, but um, yeah, it's been really good lately. Hopefully it, it doesn't wane off too quickly obviously as the people see them in circulation and people like myself pull them out of circulation it generally wanes off after probably six to eight months uh, but hopefully not too bad there's another 2021 but it's just a aboriginal elder not holding on to those at the moment because i've got a lot and i know that there's already uh, from the royal australian mints 2020 to 2021 annual report there's already been uh, a couple of million over i think over 2.5 million uh, minted on those at, at just in the interim so i'm expecting there to be a lot more so i've, I've still got a lot of them uh, but i'm no longer keeping them uh for my collection same with the uh the 2020s i've got a lot of those and we know that they're really highly minted so over 10 million of those so i'm no longer keeping those apart from the ones that I've got that are in really good nick. So the $2. Looking for the coloreds for generally the Anzac period of the year or the Remembrance period of the year, uh, which is what our most of our colour has so far been issued towards. Although this, this year we have, as you would know, have an ambulance two dollar coin that's coming into circulation now and uh last year we had the firefighters coin and the year before that we had the police coin uh so they came out at, at the time of the remembrance in the later part of the year so they're the ones we look out for as well as the previous color from 2012 to 2017 and we keep an eye out for the sporting colors as well which is the ones that usually or so far have come from Woolworths uh, promotions so we have the uh, 2016 changeover coin 2.88 million of those so that's a very nice coin the uh, commemorative is on the obverse which is the only uh, $2 coin that has the commemorative part on the obverse and it's also not colored it's a, a non-color commemorative it's only three of those coins in the $2 variety that have a non-colour 
commemorative. That's being the changeover coin, the Invictus coin from 2018, and the the poppy or the red poppy, no colour, which is we call a gold cop poppy from 2012. All the rest have some sort of colour on them. So we're well into it now, and I've spoken significantly. So as we go through these last couple of rolls, I'll just uh, speed up if I need to. Otherwise, I'll slow down and tell you what the coins are. Well, let, let's start now. And there we have a another coloured coin, a 2016 Australian Olympic team coin, and it's the blue ring, which is a very vibrant blue today, almost aqua. It's very, very nice. It's not in bad order. It's pretty shiny as well. So that is also another one for the book. In the middle of that, you'll have we have the team Olympic. The Olympic team logo with the rings and the kangaroo and emu. So that's a it's another one for the book. So that's very nice. Haven't seen that one before. That'll be the first blue that I've ever pulled out of circulation. I've pulled three blacks out of circulation, but that's the first blue, and I don't have any of the others either. Uh, so that's a good ad. shiny coins in this one you wouldn't have seen it from the side but we'll see how we go uh, there we go we have the 2020 Australian Olympic team again with the uh, team logo on it this is a dedication the uh, green ring dated 2020 for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics held in 2021 of course We've even got two rows of uh, colours. That's uh, that's amazing. It's been a particularly good hunt these last uh, couple of months, as I was saying. And there's another colored coin from the Olympic set the red ring of with the picture of Mount Fuji and the sun in the background sunset or sunrise over Mount Fuji and that's the courage coin nice order as well so two of those and then we're on to the last roll of the day Today we had $400 of $2 coins. Oh, and then we have another Olympic team coin. It's also in very good order, very shiny. This is the yellow ring of the Eternal Flame with the uh, word striving at the bottom. So striving so we have dedication courage and striving the green red and the yellows it's uh oh and then we have a a gold poppy uh 2012 gold poppy don't have much to get through to get the last two i don't think we'll get the full set of olympics but it's a very nice set anyway very nice Spread of colour and commemoratives. So we're down to the last few coins. 
And there we have it. We have Aboriginal elders to the end. So, what have we got? The gold poppy and the changeover. Very, very nice uh, pickups. So they go into the collection. We have new coins for the book. We have the octopus, Henry the octopus, and the 2016 blue ring. So, guess what the video is going to be called? There you go. So, uh, there you have it. And we've got Fe Captain Feather Sword and the Olympic rings. So, excellent. Well, I will be through the Aboriginal elders now, and I'll put you on a pause just for just for a short time. And when I come back, I'll let you know if I found anything of any note in the rest of the coins. Be back shortly. Okay, thank you very much for waiting. I'm back again. Unfortunately, again, no, no coins of any particular note in the uh, rest of the Aboriginal elders. Uh, so we will get the book. Uh, we will look for the blue ring of the Olympic, which is, is up here. Olympic team blue. I get my tweezers and pull out the placeholder and place the new coin into the book. So we have uh, blue now and black, and we're still waiting on the red, yellow, and green. But then we'll flip over to the next page where we uh, have got two Captain Feather Sword and Wags the Dog of the Wiggles coins, and we'll take Henry the Octopus and we'll put him put him down at the bottom. Excellent. So we wait for the last one of those, which is Dorothy the Dinosaur, the yellow Wiggles coin, which I haven't seen yet in circulation. So we have another one for the book, which is always a great outcome for one of these hunts. And we have, what is it? There's uh, seven other coins there that we're going to put into our collection, which is a great outcome. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please think about subscribing press the like button and um, leave a comment. Tell me what you like about the hunt, what you like about the coins, uh, and uh, I'll sure to respond, sure to respond. But uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Well, I will catch you next time I have a hunt, which will be in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.